afternoon, my friends. Um, many of my friends have asked me if I would tell them how I make uh, juice because I was able to eradicate cancer from my life with uh, a bunch of different strategies and one of them was juicing and it's a practice that I have continued so um, I wanted to just make a quick video for you because so many of you have asked me um, what I do. So I just want to show you first of all I went to Costco this morning and let's see if I can manage my thing here um, and I just bought this. So what that is is one full bag of lemons, one full bag of um, organic carrots, so that's a 10 pound bag of carrots, and the uh, flat of apples are organic Fuji apples, and then these beets, I actually picked those up at another grocery store at Smith's, so those are um, the four ingredients, so it's super simple to make it, and um, it's just easy, so I wanted to just Give you those first four ingredients. So again, it's a bag of lemons. It is a 10-pound bag of carrots. Um, the beets. Just it's just a bunch of three. That's all I use. And then the flat of the Fuji apples. So um, I take those and I will process all of these. Run them through my juicer, which is just a Hamilton Beach juicer. I actually just picked it up on a Facebook live, um, yard sale page. Is what it was. So, um, just found somebody in my area that was selling a juicer, and that's what I, that's what I picked up, and it's worked really well for me for quite a while now. So I'm not going to um, leave the camera on while I'm actually doing the juicing, but I will cut up all of these um, fruits and vegetables and show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, so I have processed all this food as far as just getting it ready. The carrots are super simple. I just snap those in half, just like, just like this and everything else I just cut up. So, um, like the, hang on a second, there we go. So you can see that everything's just cut up. I snap these carrots in half, I cut the lemons in half, and the apples I quartered because they were kind of big. And then I have these beets right here, just the three beets, and I just cut them up. And I cut them into the size that I know will fit into my, um, my juicer. So I just want to make sure they go in whole. So that's why they are, you know, the size that they are. And so now you kind of get that idea. It's, it's a really pretty simple process, and it doesn't take a lot of time. I, I do all of it at once. A lot of people don't like to do as much as I do, but I do it all at once. And then I'm, after it's done processing, which I will show you in a little while, I put them in shaker bottles and stick them in the fridge, and they last us maybe three or four days. Um, obviously, it's best if you want to drink it right away, then just do smaller batches. You can cut this into, you know, a quarter of this if you want to do just a little bit and just do that for the day um, because it does hold more nu nutrients if you do it the same day but it's um, it's a lot of work I guess to do it all um, I should say a lot of work to do it every single day so this is the way I like to do it works best for us and um, anyway so now I'm gonna make a lot of noise processing all of this so I will show you the process as we go through without the noise Okay, I have just started juicing and it occurred to me that maybe you would like to see this process actually. So I'll give you just, you know, 20 or 30 seconds of what this process looks like and it's gonna be a little noisy. So let me move the camera over here so that you can see what I'm doing and I will just make a little bit of noise for a second. of how how that works as far as you know just getting it in the juicer it's pretty simple um, about three times while I'm doing this I actually have to empty the back of the juicer because um, the carrots and you know the rind of everything the lemon rind and everything just kind of gets 
full in here so you can kind of see that so I have to clean this off um, like I said about three times maybe four sometimes just depending on the fruits and vegetables themselves and all of the pulp and everything just kind of dumps into here I use the carrot bag that I brought home and just dump it all in there and that's pretty much all there is to it so I'm going to go ahead and finish processing the rest of this and then I'll come back and show you how I finish up Okay, so I got everything processed and it is now in this bowl. Hang on. So that's kind of what it looks like. I, I put all the pulp and everything in the carrot bag, so it's pretty full now. Oops, sorry about that. And then this is the last little bit of the juice that I just got through processing. And it fills up this, this um, bowl quite full sorry I'm like learning how to use this piece of equipment so it's just gonna be all over the place anyway so um, it fills up this this really big bowl and then you'll notice that it's kind of frothy on the top typically what I end up doing because I don't really like that frothy part and you can't really get rid of all of it but I take a bowl or excuse me a spoon and I just kind of scoop that top layer off like that and I just put it down the sink. So I'm going to take the time to do that and then I'll come back and finish up my thoughts. Okay so what I use to put this and you can use jar, a jar or you can use a pitcher or whatever you want to use but I use blender bottles. It's got these little spongy balls or spring balls inside. People at the gym use them. I got mine at TJ Maxx. They're five bucks each. And then I just kind of mix up the juice and I pour it in the blender bottle. And, you know, I obviously wipe them off and stuff before I put them in the fridge. But this makes it super simple to just kind of shake it. And if you're on the go, you just grab it and, and off you go. Um, now, many of you know that I had cancer. I had stage 3 breast cancer and um, I was able to heal myself through several protocols and this was one of the main ones because your body is in dire need of some serious nutrients so I actually just for the first two weeks after I found out I had cancer I juiced I just went straight juice and I slowly started adding other things back in um, that were I guess you would consider it vegan because I was eating just um, fruits and vegetables, things like that. And I wrote a book about my experiences and it's called They Said I Would Die and it's actually on Amazon. Let me grab it for you and I'll show you what the cover looks like. This is the book, They Said I Would Die. Um, like I said, it's on Amazon if you're interested in reading this story. And, um, you know, if, if you're in a hard spot and you can't do it, send me a message and I will send me a, a message with your email and I'll just send you a digital copy and you can read it because it's not about making money it's about making people um, aware and making people healthier so I still have like another full blender bottle of juice here that I don't have enough blender bottles for so I'll put that last little bit in um, just a mason jar and I you can use little mason jars I used to use the little mason jars when I had cancer and I just put six or seven of them in um, a cooler when I was going to town or staying away from the house for a while just so that I would have it with me. So that is simply the way you make it. Um, it's called Kabbalah juice and that's because it's carrots, apples, carrots, beets, carrots, oh wait I did that wrong. Anyway Kabbalah. It's carrots and apples and beets and lemons. However you spell that. And I actually got the recipe from Don Tolman. So if you really want to talk to somebody who knows a heck of a whole lot more about how to become healthy through um, natural things like this, go to dontolman.com and look him up because he's the guy who taught me everything I know about this. So um, now that I am back on track with my health, it's been four years since I got rid of it and I have never been healthier. I'm doing really good and it's because I changed my lifestyle. I don't eat processed foods anymore. I don't eat pesticides anymore. Um, I don't eat sugar and I don't eat white flour. I mean, I try to stay as close to whole foods as possible 
and I eat a lot of raw foods. Um, you know, salsas are really good. Oh, I love apples, um, nuts. I have tons of things like that around. I do eat certain things that I feel like are reasonably clean. Um, things like the Costco's got some great things like um, some multi-grain chips and late July brand chips are really good, um, organic and clean ingredients. So just be careful what you are putting in your body. Remember that your body is an organic thing and it needs organic foods. And something like this is like magic elixir to me. And um, it, it's amazing how my body will thrive on these juices. I'll drink either a half of one of these or a full one in the morning and my body is running for the rest of the day. Usually about four o'clock, maybe three, sometimes I'll, I'll just be thinking, hmm, I think I'm hungry now. So I can go a long time on just this juice and feel really healthy because my body is utilizing the nutrients in um, a really efficient way. So it's really, really good. Um, for those of you who don't know, my true profession is I'm a singer and I'm working on an album right now. Almost done, I've got a few more songs we've got to record. And the album is called Of Light, Escape to Another World. And I'm gonna show you a little, a little canvas that has the, that's what the album cover looks like. And so if, if you're interested in something that incorporates uh, Lord of the Rings meets Skyrim meets epic orchestral music and some amazing things like that, I have some incredible stuff coming for you and you're going to want to check it out so if you just go on online and do your hashtag of light o f l i g h t you can find everything i've put out there up to this point you can also like my fan page i have a few more places on my regular page um, that i could accept a few more friends there or you can just follow if you want to and, you know, if you have questions about things that I'm, I've done today or, or the book or the album, I'm happy to share any of that with you. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been useful. And um, thanks. Have a great day.